what is everyone welcome to the short i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go really quickly here because i can only do this in a minute because otherwise it wouldn't be short all right all right so i use fabric and the reason is that it just gives me an extra from it's, as you can see i'm using iris here people are also wondering how i have an optifine gig of cape if i'm if i'm not running optifine well that's what i'm going to tell you today my button is not working hold on all right now that my button's working i'm just gonna go and we're gonna cut into my browser so let's go do that all right we're in the browser and the first thing we're going to do to get my an optifine cape i think there's also like lobby mod so you're going to go to curseforge.com leave a link to that down to the comments or just copy it off screen Once you're on curseforge.com, you're going to hit the little Minecraft tab here. It's going to bring you here. So you're just going to hit this little thing that says mods, the top, like the middle of the screen right here. And now you're in the mod section. Once you can do that, you're going to look up Capes Mod. You'll see that there is a couple things here, but one of them is Fabric Capes. You're going to hit that. So as you can see, it requires the Fabric API and whatever this mod is here. What you're going to do is you are going to in install Fabric API, this mod, and Fabric Capes, which I'll show you in a second. But if you don't already have Fabric installed, you need to go to the Fabric website. That's not the Fabric website. So um, this is the website here, Fabric. FabricMC.net, once you're on here, you're going to hit download. This is where you are going to download the fabric. You're going to hit the universal jar right here, and it's going to download the fabric installer. You're going to open that up by double-clicking it at the bottom of your screen, or up here, or go into your files, just like this. Once you do that, it should pop up right here just like that with that you're going to hit client whatever minecraft version you need you're going to use the latest version of the loader and you're going to hit install i have minecraft open so this won't work for me but it should not give you any problems and you can continue on once you have that installed you're going to hit this button here this is going to bring you to the fabric api um if it brings you in the same tab you can hold down and move and go up like that to bring it into another tab once you're here download the the latest minecraft version of your choice if you want to use it for minecraft 1.19 you can but i suggest going for the latest 1.18.2 version if that's the version you play on all right we're going to need that for later so we're going to minimize this just enough so where we can see it on screen. And we're going to bring this out. Once you download that, you can close out of this, go over back here, and you're going to do the same thing with the other one. All right, you're going to come down here and you're going to hit whatever Minecraft version you need. Alright, once it downloads that, you're going to need that for later, so make sure to bring it to your home screen. Alright, so once you have those two mods installed, you're going to go down here, and you're going to download the actual mod you need to run. You know, your Optifine cape, or your Lobby mod cape. Once you have your three mods, you can close out your browser, and you can head over to your file manager. For privacy reasons, I've blocked out most of the things that are on here, but you're going to go up here, and you're going to type in the percent symbol, app data, percent. Just like that, and you're going to hit enter. This is going to bring you to here, which you can see has a bunch of different app names, and you're going to look for .minecraft. 
Once in here, you're going to look for something, something down here called mods. You're going to open that mod folder, and if you don't have that mod folder already made, then just make a folder called mods just like this with nothing else. As you can see, I already have the mods in here. Just to showcase, you're going to copy these mods right here, and you're going to bring them into the file manager. Once you do that, you're going to head back into the game. And you're going to go into your options, go to skin customizations, and you will see this little thing up here. This is what you want to click. All you'll have to do is select your, your cape type, turn it on, turn on the cape texture on, on the elytra, and hit done. And when you look behind you, you will have your cape on. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'm sorry I didn't post last week because, you know, Easter and all that. Do you want to, you know, have a family to spend time with? So, you know, that, that's always a thing. But I'm running out of time, so I'm going to need to end this video. And, uh, see you later.